Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trip Foreman and this is the Pizel Bastard. The Pizel Bastard, uh, for those of you that are familiar with a Pizel Pizalian, let's just use that as a baseline when we're talking about the Bastard. The Bastard is definitely uh, more of a foiled, rockered shortboard compared to the Pizalian. And when the Pizalian tops out, that's a good time to be going over to the Bastard. Uh, when you're looking at this board, you immediately notice that the nose is going to be narrower than a Pizalian. Also, the tail is brought in more. So you got a little bit of width right here, but then when you come into the tail, it's also narrower. The other thing is that there's a lot more foil, meaning that the, the rails are a lot more shaved down when they're shaping the board. So whatever the thickness is on the center line of the board, it's nowhere near that when you get out to the rails. So there's a lot more foam taken out on the rail. A little bit more rocker up front and then also more rocker through the tail. No, by no means is this board uh, extreme, like at the top end of like you're never going to use it. It's more along the lines of having a board that, that actually everything right now is like wider, shorter, flatter, like make it as short, wide and flat as you can where this is more in the other direction as far as a board of a, a more average length board that's going to have a little bit more curve to it, more foil to it, and can be ridden at the top end of the board uh, more effectively. The main thing with the Bastard is making sure that you size it correctly. So a lot of people, once they start looking outside of uh, a Pizalian, they automatically think that the board's not for them. When you look at this board, uh, you know, you're know you typically looking at it in like 510, 511, 6.0, 6.1, and you know, super narrow, super thin. And if your dimension set doesn't fall within that range, that's okay. The most important thing is, is just to size to the volume that you know you like for that type of surf. So on, on my own boards, I'm typically riding anywhere from like 38 to 42 liters, depending on what I'm surfing. Uh, so this board I had John make me, in, and it's like 39 liters or 39 and change, uh, and, and rides really well for curvier, punchier surf. Um, Again, just taking that same design that it would have been in like a 510 or a 60 and blowing it up. So this board here that I'm holding, it's a 6421 uh, 2.87. Um, and when you look at the rails, there's like no way that you would think that this board's 2.87 is on the rails because it isn't. It's 2.87 in the middle of the board. And then on the rails, it's quite a bit more foiled down. So what does this mean for your surfing? Uh, with so many grovel, dedicated grovelers or semi-grovelers or hybrid grovelers or hybrid shortboards or groveling shortboards or everyday shortboards, this is none of those. Like when all of those boards start to feel flat and too fast, like you're having to check your speed or stop or skip or do everything to conceivably slide into the wave sideways because everything's too flat and square, that's where this board starts to work really well. Um, and it has the ability to, to fit into curvy waves, to produce speed in curvy waves, and to not outrun curvy waves, and to control the uh, speed. And it gets there by you know, not having that nose width. The nose width isn't going to hook up on waves and, and toss you over the front. Um, the foil down rails are going to give you a lot more control and the ability to engage the rail higher up on the wave uh, before you get out in the flats and the lip clips you in the head. And then also by having that foil down narrower tail with a little bit more tail kick just gives you a lot more staying power, hold power, like in the, in the critical part of the wave. So you're not out racing it. You could stay where you want to be on the wave. So it takes a, a situation that's a lot more out of control on all of those other boards where you're just kind of hanging on and doing the best that you can and puts it all back in control, especially if you have the board sized um, correctly. For the volume for the volume that you want the length that you want so great all-around board um, for those of you that don't know this is the board that uh, john john florence used to win uh, the french wsl event last year he was just on a standard 6-1 bastard and uh show you that video clip right now some incredible uh incredible surfing on this board uh but you know again don't don't take it meaning that that board is just for that level of surfing at that level of of professionalism, you could ride this board at a intermediate and above ability as long as you size it right and you're using it in the right way. So it's obviously not going to work well if you're trying to surf it against a rat skull and in thigh high surf. But if you're in 
If you're an intermediate or above surfer and you're in punchy waves, this board is going to feel really good and feel right at home in anything stomach high and above as long as it has punch. So it's the Pizel Bastard. If you have any questions about this board, you can give us a call at the shop, 252-987-6000. Or you can look us up online, realwatersports.com. Quick little fin hit on our futures fins. Most of the bastards that you're going to see out there, if not all of them, are all going to be dedicated thrusters. Um, this board, since you are using it in average to really good waves, uh, you're going to want to pair it up with uh, ride number. Uh, the fins that I have in here now are the AM2 in TechFlex, which is a one to four. Um, if you're using it in, in just basic average surf, you can use it with a four to seven, something like a Jordy fin would work in there really well also. Uh, the standard honeycomb fiberglass with a four to seven ride number. So that's the pairing on the fins. I would stay away on this board. I would stay away with like black sticks or the generation series because you're not really riding it in, in really grovelly surf. You're riding it more in surf that has punch um, where you have to maybe create a little bit of speed but not much or if it's just totally control oriented, you can go to something like the TechFlex. It's the Pizel Bastard. Check it out.